welcome, Hello. Steve. I'm glad you could make it. Skip Thank the door, you. I'll take your coat. Are you sure I'm not intruding? Are we sure? Of course I am. Uh, Come on in. Help yourself. Make yourself come. Oops. Thank you. Oh, look who we have. Merry Christmas. Who do we have here? Oh, Come on in. Merry Christmas. Look at this bundle of Christmas joy. Oh, happy birthday, darling. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Well, to me, it's a birthday. Oh. You know what they say? What? Your first Christmas is always the best. Uh, oh, Joe! <laughs> I think he's right. Well, it's just a shame we're too young to remember. <laughs> Doesn't matter. First is best for grandparents, too. And we remember. I think this is going to be one we'll all remember. <laughs> Let me help you with this. Those big shoes. Has to go with his big shoes. Oh, get that? We lost your socks. <laughs> oh, there we go. Can you get that one? Uh, I bet big you're glad here. to get out of here. Oh. I'm so glad. Yeah, you're huh? getting so big. one I ever had. Yeah, and can I open my present now? No, you may not. <laughs> not one minute before Christmas morning. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Brooke. Hi. I'm really glad you could come. Oh, well, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. What smells heavenly? Well, this, and I think I'm supposed to make sure that this heaven gets out there, oh, so... Excuse me. No, I'll I got it, I got you. Behind you, I wouldn't Craig. go out there if I were you, Craig, unless you want your Christmas spoiled. What do you mean? What I mean is the woman that you said who was blackmailing you, the one that you were sleeping with just to keep her quiet, that woman that you said had left town, well, she just walked into the Martin living room. So what is it, Craig? You swore that you had gotten rid of Gloria. Oh, I did. You did? You were lying then, and you were lying now. And you know what? I'm not going to let it continue. <laughs> ended it with Gloria. I had no chance for a relationship between the two of us, no matter what she pulled. I told her exactly what I said I was going to. Really? Yes, really. And she took the money I threw at her and told me she was going to leave town, stay out of my life, and not say a word to Dixie. And you believed her? Well, obviously, she hasn't left town, but she hasn't said anything to Dixie. So far, she hasn't. She might be hurt and angry, but Gloria is far from stupid. Well, what about Vengeful? I mean, why do you suppose she showed up tonight? Sadism? Curiosity? Who knows with her? She's got no scruples, no morals. She's absolutely without compassion. I hate that woman. Look, it doesn't matter what you think about her or what she thinks about you. The important thing is that she does not ever say anything that's going to hurt Dixie. You have to find a way to disarm her. I'm working on it all the time, but believe me, I've got it under control. And thank you for not Christmas for me and Dixie. Just be careful, Craig. I will be. I guess I better take this food out there. Oh, we're going to go see Jamie. Come on. If you're lucky, I'm going to give you the carrot. Come on. Just come back. Dixie, I, I hope you don't mind, but I wanted to give you a little something. Oh, Gloria, this is so nice of you. I hope you like it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. So much. Uh, you just... You've made me feel so at home here in Pine Valley, and, and I think that friends should remember friends at Christmas time. Thank you. I hope the holidays will be great for you, too. Well, you're helping them to be. You have no idea how much that means to me, you know, with what all's been going on and all. Right, right. 
boyfriend of yours. Oof. Yeah. I just I wish that I could kick him out of my brain, you know, like he's kicked me out of his life. Right. But it's not that easy. Uh, it must be so awful for you. Yeah. It is, and especially at Christmas time. Listen, sweetie, you know, if you're ever feeling down or blue or lonely or anything, please pick up the phone and call me. Okay? I, I may have very stupid and bad advice, but it, it, I'll be there. Oh, you don't have any stupid advice. You don't ever say anything stupid. As a matter of fact, you're the, the sweetest, kindest person I've ever met. You're so dear. Well, I care so much about you. Craig and I, we, we both do. Hello, Gloria. Craig? Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? She gave me this gorgeous scarf. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Very thoughtful. I love it. Very nice. Um, come with me for a second. I got a surprise for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you again. Hi, <laughs> oh, You changed. You look beautiful. Well, I finally got a chance to. That's all. I swear he has got Tad's smile. I see the same twinkle in his eye. <laughs> look at that. You know, he's so funny. When he wants something, he never yeah. cries. He just... No, he just looks at you with those beautiful eyes and that imploring look on his sweet face. How do you know because that? Because Opal said that Tad never fussed, he never fumed, he never had a tantrum when he was a child. He hate charm. He was a master of the art. <laughs> Look at Joe. Look, look, look. See what I, I mean? Look you. at the teddy that looks like Ted. Oh. He does look like Ted. Oh, he does. He's got the same eyes, same smile. Oh. Sure is wonderful to see. Baby, baby. Joey's going to be delighted to see him tomorrow. Oh, is he coming? Yeah. yeah. Oh. He's going to be here for time for Christmas dinner. Oh, oh you sweet little Christmas angel. Are you, you my baby. Get, I'm going to go get those oh. Oh. Excuse us. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Hello. I'm, uh, I'm confused about something. Yes. Now, Tad is Joe and Ruth Martin's son. Ah, uh, yes. Um, and he was married. Yes, he was married to me. And, uh, and then we were divorced, we separated, and then we were going to get remarried, and he was killed. I'm sorry. Yes. Now, Jamie, who's, who's he? Jamie is uh, Brooke and Tad's son. It's a long story. It's OK. That must have uh, must have been difficult for you. Yes, it's stung. It's okay. You don't have to explain. It's all right. I love Tad very much, and losing him was absolutely devastating to me. But um, now that I know that there's a part of him that still lives on in Jamie, and that's what counts. And that's why Jamie has become a very important little boy to me. Dixie, you are a very generous person. Thank you. <laughs> Sure you are. I try, you know. Uh, the family links, they're very important to me, you know. Being with your nearest and dearest, it matters. I'm sorry, I was very rude. You must not be very happy. You don't get to spend this time with your family. That's, I don't have any family. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm used to it. Oh. Excuse me. Yeah. Hello. You know what, sweetheart? What? You outglow that Christmas tree. Oh, aren't you sweet? Must be the lights I have decorated my hair with. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. You're not so bad yourself. Oh, you don't say it. Hey, guys, I'm sorry to interrupt this, but listen, oh. I need another platter of sandwiches from the kitchen. The big platter that's out there, you know? Yes, uh, darling, would you go get that? Okay, yeah, sure. He's Thank a strong you. man. <laughs> yes. Oh, sit down for Yes, yes, yes. We must speak. The uh, kitchen boy tonight? Just shut up, all right? Oh, give it a break, Craig. It's the holidays. Speaking of giving it a break, I haven't seen you uh, give Dixie any pearls around her creamy white neck. I don't guess you've given her those sensational fakes yet, huh? Watch it. We are so terribly sensitive. You know, this ham clashes with your outfits. You want to end up wearing it. That's not a very nice thing to say, especially on Christmas Eve. We're all supposed to be wishing each other peace and goodwill. Well, you can't have one without the other. Think about it, babe. Well, Gloria, 
Gloria, how interesting to find you here. All alone and just ready for her lesson from Miss English. So, um, I was wondering around when you would get around to seeing me. I don't think there's much I could teach you, Gloria. I agree. But you present a certain challenge. Little old me? Yeah. I've known women like you. I've just never known them to make friends with the wives of the men that they're after. It's a very interesting approach. And here I was thinking that you meant it when you said that you had nothing to teach me. Am I in for a sermon, St. Brooke? I wouldn't waste my breath. Good. Because I grew up with sermons shoved down my throat. As a matter of fact, I've had a whole lifetime of them. So they just kind of roll off my back now. Mm. Let's not get physical. You're not my type. What is your problem? You. I know that you're still scheming with Craig. Or against him. Which is it, Gloria? Are you plotting with him or against him? What is it, Brooke? You're bored, no life, no kicks, no wonder. You know, you can be as snide as you want, Gloria, but I will be damned if I'm gonna let you hurt Dixie any more than she's already been hurt. I'm not hurting Dixie. She's blissfully ignorant. Uh-huh. For how long? How long are you gonna let this go on? Well, that's not up to me. See, I happen to think Dixie really is a very sweet girl, even if she is a dumb kid. Dixie's not a fool. Yes, she is. She married Craig, didn't she? Yeah, which you would have done in a minute if he had asked you. Wrong. No, see. Even before you started flexing your muscles and telling Craig to cool it, I'd have dumped him because our relationship was already DOA. So if Dixie's gonna get hurt now, it's because you cannot leave it alone. You're the kind of woman who cannot keep her hands off another woman's man. Now that is a subject that you ought to know something all about. I do believe Tad was Dixie's first. So this little relationship between you and Tad almost broke your poor Dixie's heart. You have got a lot of nerve picking on me the way you go flaunting this little baby in front of everyone else's face here on Christmas Eve. No, that's cruel. That's not what I was doing with Jamie when I brought him here. Naive, I am not. What you're doing is you're staking a claim on Tad and on his memory every time you go bring that baby over here. Now, I told you I'd had it up to here with sermons all my life, but let me give you a little fact from the scripts themselves. Let he who is without sin cast a first stone. What the hell was that all about? What did she say? Nothing. She didn't have to say anything, believe me. She is very angry with you. I think she's dangerous, frankly, and I think she wants to get even. And you better watch her. And Junior and I wanted to put uh, something under the tree for Jamie tonight. So this is it. Oh, Dixie. How sweet. Thank you. Sure. Really? Well, listen, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go check on the brownies again, OK? OK. OK. But born on Christmas Day to save us soul from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God that is our Father, the blessed angels came unto some certain. Enjoy. 